In this video, we are talking about galvanic cell and its application. Number one, what are those galvanic cells? Galvanic cells are devices that use chemical reaction to create electricity. Specifically, this reaction is an oxidation reduction reaction. About a part of galvanic cell, uh, we have two containers containing water. One of them, I dissolve some zinc sulfate to make a solution. And the other, I dissolve some copper sulfate to make a solution. Then, I take a piece of zinc, metal zinc, and put here. And the other, I take a copper metal and put here. And connect between two metals by wire. Now, I can see something amazing. Electrons are moving from zinc metal to copper metal. And now, we can see that moving at this electron can create electricity. Sure that there is electricity, we could take a light bulb like this and hook to this wire and we could see that the light bulb will turn on. And now to focus on the part of the galvanic cells. We have neutral atom of zinc that form zinc metal. And in zinc sulfate solution we have zinc iron. And on the other side we have copper metal, copper neutral copper that form copper metal. And in copper sulfate, we have copper iron. And we have a wire that connects between zinc metal and copper metal. And copper iron gains two electron and change to copper atom. And this is so moving of the electron can create electricity. To know more about the reactions that happen in galvanic cell, we see that zinc solid returns to zinc iron and loses to electron, and this is called oxidation of reaction. On the other side, we see that copper plus two gain two electron and turns to copper solid and this is called reduction of the action. The net ionic equation of the reaction zinc loses two electron and the change to zinc positive two and copper positive two gain two electron and change to copper metal. So Zinc changes to zinc positive 2. This is called oxidation of reaction. And the copper called reduction of reaction. Zinc represents our anode due to oxidation half reaction. And copper represents our cathode due to reduction half reaction. We can see shorthand abbreviation of our reaction. The left part show an oxidation half reaction that zinc loses two electron and turns zinc positive two, and this is occur on anode. And the right side show reduction half reaction that copper positive two change to copper metal, which occur in the cathode. And this is the important part. This is the salt bridge, which make a balance between two solutions. Galvanic cell has many applications in our life. Specifically, we will talk about battery. Battery is very important in our daily life. You use battery in your telephone, in your flash, in your car. Many, many things in your life. Batteries containing the chemicals that react together and read this reaction to create electricity.